have applied, but only 12 towns will be chosen as Portis pilots. They will receive money and advice to prop up their high streets. Steph is visiting one of those candidates today. That's in Presswich, who we can talk to her now. Very good morning to you, Steph. Good morning to you both. Yes, I'm one, on one of 350 high streets across the UK, which is hoping to get their hands on some of that £1 million pot that's been handed out by the government and Mary Porters to try and breathe some life back into the high streets. Now, what they've all done is put together these YouTube two videos in an X Factor style contest to try and convince Mary and the government. He's a flavour of the press which one. was the uh, press twitch a bit of the press twitch entry there for that uh, money pot that's been handed out now we won't know until may who's going to get it but i've come into one of the retailers on the high street because in this area 30 businesses have clubbed together to put their entry together and we've got a new business owner now jody good morning to you you haven't quite opened yet have you you're opening in a couple of weeks time um you've decided to locate in a high street that's not doing very well at the moment why did you decide to do that Hi, morning. Um, I've uh, decided to open because I think um, Switch needs uh, new and different businesses in the area. Um, it's, as you can see, it's full of a certain type of uh, businesses and, and what it needs is people or a place where people can come and do something more interesting, uh, more exciting, different. Um, and also on local high streets, places like the fabrics and haberdashery shops are just going now. So it's I wanted Which is to. what your shop's going to be. Essentially. That's right. Yeah. So I wanted to sort of step back and uh, bring it back to the high street. What kind of difference do you think it will make this uh, money then, and if you, if this town does get it? Um, it'll make a difference in that um, it's brought a lot of people together. A lot of different um, businesses, etc., together, um, people who perhaps wouldn't have uh, known each other before, and it's just brought a community spirit back to the area. Okay, well, I'll let you crack on, because I know you've got a lot of work to do before you're off, and, uh, but also with us, I've managed to convince Brian from the Chamber of Commerce to come in this morning. Good morning to you, Brian. Thanks for coming in. How typical is this high street of what we're seeing across the country? Uh, this is typical of some, some of those outlying high streets. I think what we've seen is a trend in in retail sales over a number of years and moved towards out of town shopping centres and actually retail sales have probably been broadly flat for about four years now with some change on a month by month basis but broadly flat and consumers as we know are under pressure from inflation and low wage increases so there's only a, a, a a limited amount of money to go around and, and as I said we've seen a move towards out town shopping centres. For a high street like this one there's, a, there's absolutely loads of traffic going by but there isn't enough parking and they've also got the issue of people just not having the money to be able to spend in shops. How do you change that around? Is this fund going to make that much difference? Well we as the Chamber of Commerce have always said that we need to look at the offering of our high street. The high street is changing, it is evolving. Each will have different different issues that they need to tackle but actually what we need to see is is the public and the private sector as we're seeing with the Porters pilots coming together and actually changing how we how we view our high streets and how we use them okay well thanks for your time I'll let you go and get the cup of coffee now thanks for coming in so early for us and I'll be here throughout the morning I'm popping into lots of different shops on the high street just to get a flavor of what they all feel about this bid back to you both Steph thank you